Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Why would that not have been sterile? Um, the reason it's not sterile is because this happens today in the natural world and we can see it, and the hybrids are not sterile. Example, the closest thing on this planet to a truly wild strain of horses is called Preswolski's horse. Preswolski's horse has 66 chromosomes. Modern domestic horses have 64. A chromosome fusion has occurred, just as it has occurred in our line, to reduce the number by two. Hybrids between Preswalskis and domestic horses are fertile. They're not infertile. And the reason for this is because this fusion is actually of very, very slight genetic significance. Because what happens, where's my magic markers? Here we go, cool. Um, is in one case, when you go into meiosis, the process that forms gametes, you have the two fused chromosomes over here. When they look for homologous pairs in this guy with the odd-numbered chromosome, the two single chromosomes line up and they pair right next to them, even though they're not joined. So it turns out meiosis still works. There's a higher failure rate. There's a failure rate of about 10%. But basically, you still produce uh, fertile offspring. And here's the way in which chromosomal fusions like this can get fixed in a population. If you have a very small breeding group, and basically this fusion occurs and a few individuals gets passed on. And after a generation or two, somebody with 47 mates with somebody else with 47, a certain proportion of their offspring will have 46. And if the population group is small enough, there's a process called genetic drift that can allow rare changes like that to persist in the population. It happened in horses, it happened in us, and it also happens in mice because there are in fact races, as they're called, of mice and voles which have different chromosome numbers due to fusion. The fusions are so common that they actually have a jargon name. They're called Robertsonian translocation. So it turns out the notion that this couldn't have happened because it would have reduced f fertility, first of all, the evidence is there that it did happen, and secondly, in the natural world, we have several animal examples of such fusions producing perfectly viable offspring.